Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 uh, War of the Chosen. Uh, this is legendary Iron Man Exquisite timing with a tiny bit of uh, permanent dark events in the mix. My name is Saiken and we're trying to beat the game on the very highest difficulty with only four and a half months uh, to spare. Sounds um, simple isn't quite that simple specifically since legendary doubles all of uh, the timers that are relevant i.e making contact i.e researching and so on if it wasn't for the legendary difficulty we would already be done with the game anyways uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, the supply rate we have 11 specters advent max and codices that's a lot to chew through. Specifically, the Advent Max uh, will be a problem. Codices, of course, are also a problem just by their very nature of um, being able to uh, clone themselves. So uh, we got to scrap whatever uh, material we have available to make that mission somewhat work. Uh, to make matters worse from our side, uh, if you look at our roster, we do have quite a few injured soldiers, kind of the prime team is uh, wounded, gravely wounded, tired, and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're really going to take whomever we can master and put them onto this mission. I will uh, equip everyone and then we're going to take a look at uh, how well the team is holding up. All right, so that's going to be the equipment, not the best one, to be honest. We're going in with uh, the classical four base classes plus an additional grenadier and an additional sniper. That's really the best thing that we could muster at this point. I used all of the ammunition uh, that we had, dragon rounds, two times tail and rounds, um, and our modified weapons as far as they were available. Um, we got one med kit and we only got one mimic beacon. In terms of um, just armor remover, we got an acid grenade, which isn't too bad. We got one flashbang grenade, which uh, for the codices and for the Spectre isn't too bad either. So that should at least give us some option to deal with them. Um, although it's still going to be pretty, uh, pretty hard overall. Let's try our best 11 enemies. Here we go. All right, we are about to land. Let's see what this mission is all about. We are starting with uh, some high ground over here. That's not particularly useful. This high ground here is much more useful. In terms of the size of the map, it's quite a sizable one, which is not bad because it means uh, there is some chance that we're not immediately running into a pack Good. Moving everyone up. Let me correct that. Moving everyone who needs to be up there up. Both of our snipers take the high ground. Tang over here. Takes a flanking position. Mike moves up, Moving to designated position. and we're taking an aggressive start, mainly because I think that we will need to eliminate the first pack uh, rather sooner than later. Luckily for us, they are starting to move away. That's a pack with a spectre. Got to be very careful here. And bas basically their retreat offered us a bit of a time to kind of recollect ourselves, almost. Taking nice um, full cover positions all around. It's not a full cover position, though. It is an well. It's it is full cover towards the enemy pack. But if we're going to uh, trigger another pack from this side, it's only half cover position. All right. 
moving into another full cover position. And we are now quasi engaged with them, quasi to the point where they are not going to move further away from us and we're almost locked. Luckily for us, there is such a huge like vision barrier here. We're not yet fully locked on. But I think that we can take them without the Mimic Beacon. And I think that an Acid Grenade would be a really nice opportunity for us. Normally, I wouldn't start with grenades, but given that they are highly um, uh, highly armor targets, I definitely think that that's the right way to go. All right, fair enough. Our prime target will be, for the time being, the Max. So let's start with just softening them up for now. Our sniper here starts, uh, I see, he only theoretically can, well, he could take away the cover. That's not bad either. But yeah, prime directive for now. Definitely get rid of the max, highest priority. Yeah, I don't want to trigger another pack, that's the point. This unfortunately will not give us a uh, line of sight here. This would give us line of sight, but it would also open us quite widely for another uh, pack. So instead, I mean, that's one move that we could do. Um, this here is another one. Only 66% chance to hit this guy. Moving up, let's see. I think I'm not going to pull anyone. Yep, that was correct. Could have been wrong though, uh, and I would have needed to do the uh, to have a backup plan, which I had. Tang can move over here and kill the mech 100% uh, chance uh, because of the advanced repeater that he has, uh, advanced stop that he has in his weapon. Even if he would have missed, it would have been a kill. Let us use an aid protocol here. And can we throw the grenade far enough? Yeah, we can. Okay, good. So. Efficient um, action economy means uh, protecting uh, our uh, grenadier who could be flanked and at the same time just getting rid of their full cover, which then opens up the possibility to hit them nicely. There we go. Tail and rounds crit. Almost killed him entirely. And even if this is now going to be a shadow bound, which it is, we still have plenty of opportunities to just kill the specter. Easy, easy. That, on the other hand, is not so easy-easy. 
That's exactly what I did not want uh, to let happen. So, moving right next to him would essentially give us a 100% chance. It is clear. Moving into full cover. Alright, that solved the issue uh, with quick feet. Now, we got another pack over here. Got a Mimic Beacon. And we could use some grenades. So, how are we going to play that? Half cover would be not the best. But we would at least hit both of them with a frag grenade. Is there any other way to get there? I mean, theoretically, this here should be a shorter distance, which is barely out of range, right? Yeah, I think that this here is going to work. Moving into full cover. Lopping a grenade, just to soften them up. Very nice. So we got one pack down, that's three. That's the second pack, which is six. Which means we're probably going to look at yet another pack of three and a pack of two. We got one grenade left over, another one here. We gotta deal with those jokers. Um, That's affirmative. Full cover. I've got eyes on an advent position. Which unfortunately triggers another uh, target. So we're going to use the Mimic Beacon this turn. That's a pack of two. That's the pack of two. All right. This here continues the setup. Very nice. Let's try to kill that Advent Mac. Minimum damage. That is not good. Yeah, I would still continue to deal as much damage as we can with our snipers. Yes, armor is definitely going to reduce our effectiveness, but it's still better than nothing. Copy that. Moving into full cover here with Mike. And let's just put the Mimic Beacon out here. Should detract two to three enemies. That's what that would be three. Okay, 
Or in case they miss, which is super rare, I thought that they cannot miss on Mimic Beacons. It's probably one of those weird uh, 99 point something percent chance um, uh, things. Mimic Beacon should not um, benefit from cover. Oh, holy shit. We were lucky. All right. Well, uh, this here has certainly just become highly, highly interesting. Trying to get rid of the max first. Quick feed takes one out. Good, Good job, buddy. Good effing job. Alright, we're first of all taking the shots of those who have the least chance to do something. And we're not going for the codices. We're starting with a max. Thanks to our um, advanced stock. That worked out nicely. Moving up here. And let's hope that we can shred this guy. Missing a 90% shot. That stings. Can't hit either of those. Two. Yeah, I could take any of the positions up here, but that's super dangerous. I do not want to. I do not wish to do that. Mike, on the other hand, could start moving a bit closer just to and increases chance to hit. They are going to teleport anyway, so I'm not terribly concerned about being caught in half cover. It's not going to matter. Let's shred the mech. This is ridiculous. This is very, 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 very unfortunate. Okay, could move to here, take a shot, and hope that we're going to deal maximum damage. If not, we need to move our sniper and take another shot. So that's the plan. Yeah, we were one short. Mind you, we could have done the whole situation with only um, uh, two shots instead of four. But it is what it is. So yeah, it took us a while. It's going to be a psionic bomb. Materializing on two. Uh, since we do have the resistance order of uh, psionic feedback, that caused 8 points of damage in forcing uh, it to clone. We're going to take one normal shot though. Alright, Overwatch, fair enough. Okay, so let's do the first things first. Reloading, 
Another main question is what's my chance to hit this guy? Not very good, but we can prevent it from cloning itself. Plus we remove the overwatch, which is worth something in my book at least. Moving into half cover here. Taking out the codex. Alright, so that's one down. Thousands to go, as always. Good. Where do we want to move? I like this high ground here. Unfortunately, we don't know what's what's going to happen uh, back here. So that might be just another pack. And what we certainly can't afford is yet another yet another pack. Okay, unfortunately not the best odds to hit this uh, target. Moving up. And let's reload. Don't want to waste our grenade yet. We need it to uh, reduce the armor of potential other mechs. Four to six, four to six. I think we're going to take our chances with the Moving. tail end rounds. Moving into flanking position. Not a kill. But we got it pretty good. Oh, wow, okay. That is atypical. Um, so let me walk you through my thought process here. Normally, normally, they are not going to accept standing in the open. Uh, hence, I took the left-hand side, knowing farewell that they couldn't move uh, anywhere to the right hand uh, or to the left-hand side in a single move. So what I wanted them to do is actually double move uh, instead of um, starting to hit us. Uh, apparently, the AI, in a rare moment of uh, clarity, decided that that's not going to fly. And instead, just jumped the gun and sacrificed itself. Like I said, that's not the typical behavior, so it caught me a bit off guard. But you continue to learn in XCOM. Got a scope and a dodge um, PCS, which is great because we're lacking PCSs. Overwatch and Overwatch. Good. Time to just regroup. And time to heal. Pretty sure we don't need uh, three more healing charges. We got uh, three packs down. There's only one pack left. Time for reload. And time for some nice little long watch. Let's see where the last pack is at. Moving into full cover. Moving to position. 
Okay, we're going to keep a tight formation. Notice how I'm using single blue moves first and how we're basically spanning up this nice little front line with snipers as a protection. Yep, the next pick is right ahead. And there we go. There we go. Nice. Pretty damn good shot. By the way, that's a pretty revealing outfit that she's uh, wearing. Nice. That's a shredding. Very nice. Overwatch trap worked like a charm. Come on, hit one more. That was surprisingly good for Overwatch traps that we're normally doing. The average Overwatch trap that you could expect to get is one where almost no one hits. Eh, we don't really have an awesome angle. It's the last pack though. How about we're moving into full cover over here? What's his chance to hit? 73%. You know, since it's the last pack, we might be a bit more liberal on the utilization of our grenades and such. Good. In terms of shredding, let's reload. 73% is definitely not the best uh, chance to hit, but it is decent and we are in full cover. Good. So the backup plan for essentially not hitting is continuing to pepper it with uh, sniper fire which we are now doing. Given an aid protocol, because he's going to need it very soon. And we're going to use our advanced stock to kill the smack. Let's deal with the last mech. Fortunately, minimum damage. Moving up and let's just take a couple of shots. Unfortunately, did not hit. Okay, so at best, we're taking one shot. Yeah, I don't mind being suppressed. Mike is moving up, flanking him nicely. So much for the armor. Uh, suppression is removed. Tank is reloading, and now it's like a pack of wolves uh, homing in on their uh, on their prey. There you go. Yeah, it was not a flawless mission, and apparently there were a few more enemies than expected. 13 instead of 11. Well, that's fine. Oh, no. Uh, that was uh, the Shadowbound uh, double ganger. And we are landing once again, ladies and gentlemen. So let's take a look here. Good, we got ourselves a nice little promotion. 
not that it really matters that much, but still, nonetheless, damn good. Um, yeah, unfortunately, the ones that should have been promoted were uh, not getting a promotion. Good. Scope uh, and the agility uh, portion. Agility is actually quite good. Let's see. 150 supplies, Salarium crystals, alien alloys. Um, lots and lots and lots of uh, nice pieces of loot. Nothing that immediately helps us now, though. Nothing that immediately helps us right now. Hmm. Good. This brings us back to our sort of peculiar situation where we are at the beginning of July. Thank you, we don't need an engineer at this point. Where we are continuing to make contact and we were basically racing against the time. There we go. Some more income. And at the same time, a lot of um, a lot of options to go for this mission here. 17 enemies, mainly. Oh no, it's what? 17 vipers? Because we're doing it so early. Um, essentially, the game doesn't even allow us to have chrysalids yet. So it's just saying 17 vipers and codices. Well, fantastic. Fantastic. Let's take a look if we can really do it right now or if we need to wait a bit. So we got a team available, theoretically, ladies and gentlemen. We got our team available question is do uh, do I really want to do it absolutely not uh, is it necessary in order to not fall behind uh, the already completely stretched and unrealistic timeline absolutely yes combat tactics um, we could get a few of those uh, later down the road and mutant autopsy is almost done but we cannot wait for that it's uh, beginning of July and our shadow chamber needs a research project so we cannot at this point lose any more time essentially I need to uh, launch the next mission like right away and that means the next mission ladies and gentlemen is going to be uh, the gate with a gatekeeper yes you heard me right a gatekeeper and we're just approaching it with ballistic weapons no upgrades whatsoever uh that's going to be a fun ride well, let's see how it's going to go thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the content uh, consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below uh, next time we're going to kick some uh, gatekeepers rear take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.